Need some coins or MT for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the fastest and cheapest coins anywhere, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. Today, guys, we have the AK promo reveals to get into, and I gotta say, should be a pretty fun day tomorrow. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Paul Crew for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subs to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below, Nota Gang. And also, guys, I'm gonna be drawing the giveaway winners for the two $50 gift cards after Sunday night football. So make sure you guys go ahead, check out the tweet, retweet it, follow myself, and comment down below, Zerk like on it. That's all you guys gotta do to be entered for the giveaway. And today is Sunday, right? It's Sunday football. I'm sure you guys are watching football. So if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my picks. I'm already tweeting out a bunch of them uh, for the night game. For the 4 p.m. games as well, halftime picks as well. There are some halftime picks. If you guys want to hop in, take advantage of those. And tomorrow we have a double header on Monday Night Football. So don't miss out. Use code ZERK. So let's take a look here, guys, at the five AKA cards that they did already reveal. Now, I will let you guys know there is one more AKA card that they did not reveal just yet. It might be included in this video. I honestly don't know how long it's going to take for EA to put out that final one. So I may have another video later tonight. I may not make a video on the final one, but either which way, follow me over on Twitter. And I may even just post a picture of who the card is tonight up on the community tab. But I have a feeling it's going to be Ryan Fitz Magic. So here is that Packers one that we all expected. And yes, it is a Reggie White. You guys can see 86 speed, 83 excel, 91 strength, 90 power move. He also has 89 blocks. 87 finesse move so if we compare him to the best left end currently in the game we have deacon jones with 82 speed 88 excel obviously speed wise he is much much better 91 strength deacon jones only 88 strength power move of an 88 over here we have a 90 and then block shed of an 89 compared to 89 block shed so to me definitely i would say reggie white is the best left end in the game and we also have marshawn lynch beast mode now i gotta say though this is actually not the one that i thought it was gonna be like in terms of the uh picture that we thought was gonna be marshawn lynch yeah this one isn't it this was actually the one that was in the top right guys that we all kind of thought was gonna be like a cardinal or something i'm pretty sure that is this one here marshawn lynch though 90 speed 87 acceleration 87 change of direction 91 truck 90 break tackle and i gotta say i am really really excited to use this card now marshawn lynch the last time that he was in madden i believe was 215 pounds so if we take marshawn lynch here and we compare him to ricky williams ricky williams 88 speed marshawn lynch guy is gonna be the fastest running back in the game with 90 speed he also has 87 excel ricky williams does have 91 and ricky is a little bit heavier than the last time marshawn lynch was in the game maybe they'll put him in this year a little bit heavier we'll see 86 agility though ricky williams only an 83 uh, 87 carrying ricky williams 87 carrying is really not a big issue this year though honestly don't even really pay attention much to that catching of a 64 ricky williams has a 78 catching so a little bit better of a receiving back but if you want a receiving back go pick up cmc change the direction of an 87 whereas ricky williams here does have only an 85 and then the trucking and brake tackle both of a 90 well marshawn lynch 91 trucking and 90 brake tackle so to me without a doubt i think marshawn lynch is now the new best running back in the game and i gotta say there are just so many good running backs in the game right now there's marshawn lynch ricky williams cmc saquon demarco murray is still really up there even joe mixon from the beginning of the year guys is still really really good just a lot of good backs now we also got mike dicka this is the one that i thought for sure was ted hendrix and it's actually not Ted Hendricks. It is Mike Ditka, 87 speed. Now, if we compare him to Dave Casper, which I feel like is a fair comparison at this point, comparing him to Parham at this point, I don't really feel like is, you know, worth it. Obviously, you know what you're getting with Parham, but if you're looking for an all-around tight end, then yeah, at this point, a lot of people have Dave Casper. So 89 speed here, Mike Ditka, 87, 86 strength. Uh, over here, we have 86. We take a look at the catch and traffic. We have 91 with 89 spec catch. Catch traffic right here, 91 with 91 spec catch. And then the routing of 91 and 89, Mike Dicka, 90, 88 with 81 run blocking. Whereas over here, uh, we have 82. So to me, if you already have Dave Casper, it's probably not worth picking up Mike Dicka. But if you don't have Casper yet, 
This is probably the best Titan in the game. And then this is one that I am extremely shocked about, but extremely excited for as well. By the way, that card art is nasty. I mean, it looks like he literally just hit sticked somebody and they're like falling on the ground. So that is just an unbelievable card art right there. Uh, Cam Chancellor. This is the one that we thought was going to be Marshawn Lynch. And it's Bam Bam Cam Chancellor, 89 speed, 91 Excel. And I mean, if we compare him to, I guess, Troy Palmalu, although I feel like these two are completely different, right? You're probably going to want to use her on Cam Chancellor. You can leave him out there to just do his own thing, but I would recommend you probably use him. 89 speed, 91 Excel, Troy Palmalu, 89 speed, 90 Excel. Of course, Cam is a lot taller uh, than Troy P at only 5'10 here. And then, of course, we have the 85 tackling, Troy Palmalu's tackling, 88, 90 hit power, Cam, 91, 90 one zone troy palomalu 90 zone coverage and then we also have 87 pursuit and 85 man coverage but again i really really feel like with cam you want to run him as sort of a in the box safety uh and personally i've been using troy palomalu no issues at all the card has played amazing for me especially with that 3 ap acrobat on him i know a lot of people are kind of worried about his height he it hasn't been an issue for me so i would recommend you guys pick up troy p if you can but in terms of like best users in the game I think Cam Chancellor just joined that conversation. And the final card that EA revealed early, guys, is going to be Night Train Lane. This was so obvious. I mean, this was just extremely obvious as to uh, this one being Night Train Lane here. He does have 90 speed, 87 acceleration, also has 89 agility. He has 91 jumping, 85 play rec, 90 man, 91 zone, and 88 press. And of course, Night Train Lane is always really, really good when it comes to the run game, right? Block shed, tackling, hit power, he's got it all. And again, compare him to who I think is the best cornerback in the game right now, Chris McAllister, 88 speed, 90 speed. I mean, right there, honestly, if you ask me, having two more speed with also having 90 man and 91 zone, whereas Chris McAllister also has 90 and 90, yeah. When you get the speed and also man and zone above 90, you're instantly the best cornerback in the game. Or at least currently, that is definitely how that is. So with that being said, guys, those are all the AKA cards that are out that EA did go ahead and reveal uh, today. And as I said, guys, this promo drops tomorrow. Now, EA did announce they will be revealing one more later today, but I may not have a full video on it. I may just make a tweet about it. I uh, may just post it over here in the community tab. Definitely have a pretty busy day today. But again, we do have NFL football on right now when you guys are watching this video so if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy use code zerk and follow me over on twitter for my picks very very excited for this promo though remember this promo does drop tomorrow there probably will be some reroll packs and uh, i did already go over like the exchanges and everything with you guys a quick reminder here are the solo challenges you guys can see you get coins uh, aka fantasy packs all that good stuff and then here are the sets to get one of these 90 overall players you're gonna need six 87 overall aka players which you get the 87s you need 11 of the 82s and then you need to get the 82s two 80s and 178 to 79 i know a lot of people have been investing right now on these 80 overalls and the 70 79s and in my opinion i think these cards are probably gonna go for about 600k i feel like that's probably about where their price range is gonna be maybe a little bit higher though because the hype around these cards is pretty big so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it hit that sub button down below see you guys next time and if you guys enjoyed this video check out these